The modern class two has come a long way from GV Black Preps, multiple layers, metal matrices, and wooden wedges. Let's bring you up to date. Hello, I'm Dr. David Clark. We're going to review some basics of injection molding with a balance of flowable and regular heated bulk fill composite. And then we're going to also be showing the benefits and some of the things you need to understand about modern matrixing. We're going to be using the new twin ring by BioClear, the diamond wedges, and the new clear molar matrix. So let's get started. So the first thing that we want to keep in mind is a lot of naturally occurring or other contacts are what we call a kissy contact. So you'll notice in this particular case, I'll put two different backgrounds here, that the contact is really too high on the occlusal. And a lot of contacts are naturally not very smooth. So what we like to do is to take a disc and flatten and smooth the neighboring tooth. So now let's take a look at that contact. We have flattened the contact, there's much larger contact it's no longer invading the space of the neighboring tooth, which often, often happens when we have a little bit of crowding. And so that contact is now going to be much better and much more in the middle of the tooth. All right, that looks great. The next thing we need to keep in mind is that we always want to take a lightning strip to create a true infinity edge, remove biofilm, and break the contact if the contact is not broken naturally. This is actually a great way to prevent nicking the neighboring tooth. We're going to take a lightning strip removing all the calculus, creating a nice long sanded surface all the way out to the line angles and this allows us to get a true infinity edge and start thinking about a cavo surface driven non-retentive class 2 instead of old-fashioned GV black retentive cavity preparation. So you'll notice that the entire surface now is sanded. Can I have explore please? You notice that the entire surface has been sanded all the way to the line angle here and so now as we do our injection molding we're going to allow the matrix we're going to allow the composite to truly wrap the tooth and engage all of that enamel and especially the enamel at the gingival so what you're going to notice with the new bioclip posterior matrix is it has a tremendous anatomical shape and there's some new features that i hope you really enjoy mm -hmm. Now we need to make sure that the tab is centered over where the restoration is going to play, be placed. This is a great advantage because we're going to fold this tab down and this will disallow any composite to go on the wrong side of the matrix. And my favorite wedge for most restorations is the large wedge. And so it looks a little bit too large for most areas, but because it collapses as you insert it, this is my go-to wedge. Now, I'll start with the medium wedge, and you're going to see that it slides in a little bit too much, a little too easily. I'm going to hold the matrix down with this finger so that it doesn't slide, and this just is not doing a lot of work, so don't be lazy. Let's move to the large wedge. So you can see that it's fully inserted. I can give it one last push with the back of the cotton pliers. So the next thing we're going to do is to place the twin ring. It can be placed in really in either direction, but this particular case it's going to be advantageous to put the twin rings toward the distal. Make sure you expand the cotton pliers enough to not catch the matrix. You don't want to run into the matrix. Don't worry about overstretching the ring. This has super advanced spring technology with the twin nickel titanium, and it won't wear out like normal separators. Okay. So what I'd like to do is to go ahead and push the separator down one last time to make sure it's fully seated. It then, was, can I see the cotton pliers, please? Now, Kristen's going to hand me these cotton pliers, so I'm always staying in my field, and I'm going to expand the contact to make sure that I've really taken advantage of the full shape of the matrix. Let me have a brush, please. 
agitate this just to make sure we've got our infinity edge well etched. So we're going to massage the Scotch Bond Universal, we're going to massage the adhesive into the dent tubules for a full 20 seconds. Turn the filter off of this so you can see a little bit better depth with the better depth perception. Okay, simply wet the area, air thin, flowable composite. Okay, and paste. True bulk filling requires three-point curing. Three-point curing is curing from the occlusal, the buccal, and the lingual. A clear matrix is a distinct advantage. It allows more confidence that we have a full cure and fewer layers okay. are required. All right. Now, something to keep in mind is the biker matrix was built with a quick release. So you see the matrix is pulled away just a little bit. It makes it very easy to get purchase on the matrix and tease it away from the tooth. You're also going to notice that compared to metal matrices, the biker matrix, because it's so much smoother, releases more easily from the tooth and the composite than does a metal matrix. Okay. Because the twin ring creates five pounds of separation and the diamond wedge up to three pounds of separation, the net separation pressure is up to eight pounds. Get ready for tight contacts. In order to get floss and finishing strips through the contact, it is usually necessary to slide the blue True Contact polishing saw through the contact and then use wax floss and finally the composite polishing strip.